channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing three patriotic decor DIYs that are perfect for Memorial Day and the 4th of July. I'm so happy with how each and every project turned out, and I know that if you love rustic or farmhouse style, that you'll really enjoy today's video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up, and I would love to hear in the comments down below if you'd like to see more patriotic decor videos here on my channel. Now let's get right into today's projects. For DIY number one, I'm making an America sign. For this project, I used a 24 inch by five and a half inch by three quarter inch thick piece of wood that I got from Lowe's, two three inch unfinished wood stars, wood letters that spell out the word America, Waverly chalk paint in plaster, bulk art chalk paint in Tuscan red and also in nautical, Craft Smart wood stain in the color brown, paint brushes, cotton cord from Hobby Lobby, and my hot glue gun. I started by painting this wood piece with my Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. I did do two different coats of paint so that I could get that natural wood color all covered up. Once that paint was all dry, I then started just dressing my wood with 120 grit sandpaper. And after doing it for a while, it really wasn't working out so well, so I ended up switching to a 60 grit piece of sandpaper, and that ended up scratching the wood exactly how I wanted it to. Next, I'm applying some of this stain using an old towel. I'm not applying the stain over top of the entire board. I'm just randomly wiping it on the board in places that I want it to look really distressed. And I still want some of that white color of the board to pop through as well. I'm using this water-based stain, which is something that I've just discovered and I really love it because it doesn't have all of those toxic chemical smells that your average stain would have. Now I'm painting both of my three inch unfinished wood stars with my paint in the color Tuscan Red. I'm not exactly sure where these stars are from. I think they're from either Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I've had them in my craft stash for quite a while, but both of those stores carry unfinished wood stars. Then I'm painting all of my unfinished wood letters that spell out the word America with my folk art chalk paint in the color nautical and I only did one coat of paint on all of the letters. After all of the paint has dried on my stars and all of my letters, I'm then taking a piece of 120 grit sandpaper and I'm sanding over all of them. I want each one of these pieces to have a really rustic look. I'm now cutting two pieces of this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree long enough so that I can wrap them around the top and the bottom of this board. Then I'm wrapping one of the pieces two inches down from the very top corner of the board and then I'm hot gluing the ends of that burlap ribbon along the back side. Next I'm cutting two pieces of this cotton cord long enough so that I can wrap these around the front of the board as well. Then to attach the cords, I'm placing some hot glue in the center of my burlap ribbon along the front side of my board, then wrapping them around to the back side and hot gluing the two ends of the cord down. I'm attaching my star by using some hot glue along the back side and then pressing the star on top of the burlap ribbon and the cord that I've already attached to my board. Then for the bottom of my board, I'm measuring two inches up and placing that burlap ribbon that I've already pre-cut. I'm doing the same thing as I did for the top of the board. I'm taking that burlap ribbon, wrapping it around the front of the board, and then attaching the two ends of that ribbon along the back side using hot glue, and then using this cotton cord the same as I did the very top. Once I have those cut, I'm just hot gluing them over top of that burlap ribbon right in the center. Then for my second star, I'm attaching it on the bottom of my board over top of the burlap ribbon and cotton cord. Next, I'm placing all of my wood letters in the center of my wood board so I can have them exactly where I want them before I start gluing all of them down. To attach my letters, I'm placing hot glue along the back side of each letter and then pressing them down in the same spot where I'd already laid them out. And I'm continuing this step until I have all of the letters attached. Here is my America sign all finished. I love the rustic look of this sign and it was really easy and inexpensive to make. I know that I'll be using this piece for years to come. Now moving on into DIY number two, I'll be making a USA rag wreath. For this project, I used a five by seven frame from Dollar Tree, large popsicle sticks, 
the inside ring of a 3 inch embroidery hoop, Waverly chalk paint in plaster, folk art chalk paint in nautical and also in the color Java, paintbrushes, this checked fabric from Hobby Lobby, burlap fabric also from Hobby Lobby, alphabet stamps and ink pad, jute, and my hot glue gun. I started by taking my 5x7 frame apart. This frame actually had the glass broken out of it and I'm not going to be using the glass part of the frame so it worked perfect for this project. Once I had it taken apart I started painting it with my Waverly chalk paint in plaster. I did do two different coats of this paint so that I could get that underneath wood color all covered up. After those coats of paint were all dry, I then went in with my Dollar Tree stencil brush and my Java colored chalk paint and I dry brushed that over top of my entire frame so that it would have more of a rustic farmhouse look. Next I'm painting five large popsicle sticks that I picked up from Dollar Tree with my plastered colored paint and I only had to do one coat of paint for these. I'm then painting five more of these large popsicle sticks, only this time I'm painting them with my nautical colored paint and I only did one coat on these as well. Once all of my paint has dried, I then took a piece of 120 grit sandpaper and I sanded over all 10 of my popsicle sticks. I want them to have a rustic look just like my frame. Now I'm assembling the background for my frame and putting hot glue on the two ends of the first popsicle stick which is the blue one and then I'm placing it along the back side of the frame and then I decided it was a little bit easier to just place the glue right on top of the sides of the frame so I'm doing that just placing glue on each side and then pressing the popsicle stick over top of the glue to attach it and I did switch up in between the colors of the popsicle sticks I did blue white blue white blue white blue white until I had all ten of them attached to the back of the frame Next, I'm cutting my fabric in strips to make my wreath. The strips I'm cutting are about a half inch to an inch thick, and I wasn't being real precise. Some of them were thicker than others, but again, this whole project is gonna have a rustic look to it, and I knew that by having them a few different sizes really wasn't gonna matter. Once I had this color fabric all cut, then I moved on to my burlap fabric, and I cut that the same way about a half inch to an inch thick, and some of them, again, were bigger than others, but it really didn't matter. To make my wreath, I'm using the inside of a 3 inch embroidery hoop and I just wrapped my fabric right around the ring and then tied it in a knot. I started with my checked fabric and then I did the burlap fabric after that and I just rotated between the two. I did the checked, the burlap, the checked, the burlap and I just continued that step until I had my entire ring wrapped with the fabric. Now, you could use a floral ring or pretty much any kind of ring that you had. This is just um, one that I had left over in my stash. The ends of my fabric strips were a little bit long once I had them wrapped around my ring, so I just cut them down a little bit so that it would fit better when I attach it to my frame. I decided I wanted to have a popsicle stick going along the back of my wreath, and to make it look rustic, I'm using some of this Craft Smart wood stain in the color brown, and I'm applying it with an old towel. Once that dried, I then took my plastered color paint and I dry brushed that over top of the stain. I then measured the popsicle stick along the back of my wreath and then used some scissors to cut down the excess wood on each side. I'm putting hot glue on the back side of that popsicle stick and then attaching it in the center of my frame. I wanted to have the letters USA on that uh, piece of popsicle stick that I had attached in the middle, so I just placed my wreath over top so I knew exactly where to center it and then I stamped on the letters USA right in the center. To fully attach my wreath, I tied a piece of jute around the top ring of the wreath and then I took that piece of jute, wrapped it around the top of the frame, tied it off in a knot and then hot glued it down along the back side of the frame. Here is my USA framed rag wreath all finished. This again was such an easy project and it goes perfect with my rustic themed patriotic decor. And now for the last DIY, I'll be making a stars sign. For this one, I used two 11 and 3 quarter by 5 by a half inch thick pieces of wood, three 3 inch unfinished wood stars, and one 2 inch unfinished wood star. Waverly chalk paint in plaster, folk art chalk paint in Tuscan red and also in the color nautical, paint brushes, duct tape, 
a wax candle, cotton cord from Hobby Lobby, large popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree, and my hot glue gun. For this one, I started by painting my two pieces of wood with my plaster color chalk paint. I did only do one coat of paint for these, but since the wood was really rough, I did have to paint in a bunch of different directions just to get the paint deep into the wood. After the paint was dry on both of my boards, I then took this old wax candle and I started rubbing it around on both boards and on both sides of each board. I'm going to be giving this project a really chippy look and this is going to help me achieve that. Next I'm painting on my Tuscan red chalk paint on both of my boards over top of the wax that I just rubbed over both boards. And I did do two coats of this red paint. I wanted to have a little bit of a deeper red color, so that's why I did the two coats. After my paint had dried really well, I'm then applying some duct tape to my board. And I am going to be doing this on the front and back so I can have the chippy look on both the front and back of my project. Once I had the duct tape all pressed on really well, I'm then peeling it off kind of like you would do a wax strip and this is going to be taking that red colored paint off of everywhere that I've applied that candle wax. This is a really great way to achieve a chippy look. It's super easy. I've used it on a few different projects so far and I really love this technique. I did do it on both of my boards. I then painted two of my three inch unfinished wood stars with my plaster color paint and then I painted the two inch wood star with the plaster color paint as well. For my third three inch wood star, I painted it with my nautical colored paint. I'm going to be using three of these large wood popsicle sticks to hold the two pieces of wood together and give them a little bit more stability. So I'm just cutting the popsicle sticks down so that they don't overlap the two pieces of wood. Once I have them all cut down, I'm then placing hot glue on one side of my board and then pressing the two boards together to hold them in place. And then like I said, I wanted to use the popsicle sticks to hold the boards together a little bit better. So I placed hot glue along each popsicle stick and then just pressed each one down on the back of my boards. Next I'm attaching my 2 inch white wood star to my blue 3 inch star. I just placed hot glue right on the back side of the white star and pressed it in the center of the blue star. And then I'm attaching all three of my three inch stars in the center of my chibi pieces of wood. Again, just placed hot glue on the back side of each star and then pressed them down in the center of my chibi pieces of wood. For the last step, I'm going to be creating my hanger and I'm going to be using this cotton cord from Hobby Lobby. I'm cutting it down to size for how long I want my hanger to be and then I'm going to be making a knot on each side of the cotton cord and I do want these knots to be on the front side of my sign so I'm placing the hot glue on the front side and then just pressing the knot down on the glue to attach them. And here is my hanging star sign all finished. This project could not have been easier and I'm really loving that chippy paint technique. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I would love to hear in the comments down below which project from today's video was your favorite. And also if you'd like to see more patriotic decor here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching.